Wow, butterflies are so cool. Hey friends, it's me, Blippi. Are you ready to go on an adventure today? We're going to learn about one of my favorite flying friends in the whole wide world. What has colorful wings, flutters, and flies loves to visit flowers? That's right, it's a butterfly. They float through the air like little flying rainbows, making our gardens and parks so beautiful. When you see a butterfly, it can make you feel so happy and excited. Gentle, quiet, full of amazing surprises. Let's get ready to learn all about them. So, what exactly is a butterfly? It's a special kind of insect. That means it has six legs, just like we have two. It also has a body with three parts. A head, thorax, that's the middle part, and abdomen, that's the end part. But the most spectacular, most amazing, most incredible part is their wings. Whoa, look at all those colors. Butterflies are super special because they go through a huge change in their life. It's called a life cycle. It's like a secret story with four amazing parts. They don't start out as a butterfly with wings. Nope, they start as something very, very tiny. And then they change and change and change again until, wow, they become a beautiful butterfly. This big word for this amazing change is metamorphosis. Can you say that with me? met -amorphosis. Great job. It's one of nature's biggest, most wonderful magic tricks, and we're going to explore it all today. So, are you ready to become a butterfly expert with me? Every single butterfly in the whole world starts its life in the same way. It begins as a tiny little egg. Isn't that incredible? The mommy butterfly is very smart. She flies around to find the perfect leaf for her babies. She needs to find a special plant called a host plant because that's the only food her babies will eat when they are born. She carefully lays her eggs on the underside of a leaf so they stay safe and hidden. These butterfly eggs are so, so small. You might need a magnifying glass to see them up close, just like a real scientist. They can be all different shapes and colors. Some eggs are round like a little ball, and some are oval like a tiny grape. They can be white, or a light yellow, or even a pretty green color. The mommy butterfly might lay just one single egg, or she might lay a whole bunch of them all together. Inside that tiny egg, a little life is starting to grow. Wow, it's like a little secret waiting to be revealed. Depending on how warm it is outside, the baby might stay inside the egg for a few days, or maybe even a couple of weeks. It's just waiting for the perfect moment to say hello to the world. Then, one sunny day, the egg starts to wiggle a little bit. And then, crack, the egg hatches. A tiny little creature pushes its way out. What is it? It's a baby caterpillar. It eats its own eggshell. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, caterpillar. Look, after the egg hatches, out comes a caterpillar. A caterpillar is also called a larva. That's the science word for a baby insect. And this little caterpillar has one very, very important job to do. Eat, eat, and eat some more. Munch, 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 crunch, crunch, crunch. All that eating helps the caterpillar grow bigger and bigger and bigger. It needs all that food to get the energy for its next amazing change. As the caterpillar eats, its body gets bigger, but its skin doesn't grow with it. So what does it do? It molts. It wiggles out of its old, tight skin, and underneath is a brand new, bigger skin. It's like taking off a coat that's too small and finding a new one underneath. A caterpillar will do this many times as it grows. Each time it molts, it might even change its colors or patterns. Caterpillars come in so many shapes and colors. Some are smooth and green to hide. This is called camouflage. Can you say camouflage? It helps them stay safe from birds that might want to eat them. Other caterpillars are fuzzy or have little spikes. Some are super colorful with bright stripes and spots, like a warning sign. Hey, don't eat me. I might taste yucky. For a few weeks, the caterpillar keeps munching and crunching, growing bigger every day. Look how much it has grown. Now it's big and chunky. This is such an important part of the butterfly's life. All that food is stored as energy. 
The caterpillar has finished its eating job. Now it's time for a big, big change. Okay, our big chunky caterpillar is full and ready for the next step. What happens now? This is where the real magic begins. The caterpillar stops eating and looks for a safe secret spot. It might crawl up a twig, find a sturdy branch, or hide under a leaf. Once it finds the perfect spot, it attaches itself and usually hangs upside down in a J shape. Then, something amazing happens. Its skin splits open one last time. But underneath, there isn't another caterpillar skin. This time, there is a hard case called a pupa. For butterflies, we call this case a chrysalis. Can you say that with me? Chrysalis. Awesome. The caterpillar is safely tucked inside. It can look like a jewel or even like a dried up leaf. Inside, it might look like nothing is happening. It's very still and quiet. But the biggest change of all is taking place. The body is completely changing. Parts rearranging like building blocks, head, thorax, abdomen, legs, antennae, and beautiful colorful wings. This amazing process is called metamorphosis, and it can take a week or even longer. It's super important that we never, ever touch or wiggle a chrysalis. The little creature inside is delicate, like taking a long, special nap for its big debut. We have to be patient and wait for the surprise. What do you think will come out when it's finally ready? Section 5. Look. A butterfly. The big reveal. After many days of waiting patiently, the big moment is here. The chrysalis starts to change color, and you might see wing patterns through the shell. Then it begins to shake. A little split appears. Slowly, carefully, a new creature pulls itself out. It's not a caterpillar anymore. Look, it's a butterfly. Wow! The magic trick is complete. A beautiful, brand new butterfly has emerged. This is the adult stage of the life cycle. When it first comes out, its wings are soft, crumpled, and wet, like a piece of wet paper. The butterfly can't fly yet. It rests and pumps a special liquid from its body into the veins of its wings. The wings slowly stretch out, get bigger, and become flat and strong. It can take an hour or two to dry. It might open and close its wings, practicing. Once its wings are ready, it's a little wobbly at first, then whoosh! The adult butterfly is free to fly. Visit flowers to drink yummy nectar, find a mate, and lay eggs to start the life cycle all over again. From a tiny egg, to a hungry caterpillar, to a secret chrysalis, and now to a beautiful flying butterfly. Have you ever wondered how butterflies get their amazing, colorful wings? It's not paint. Their wings are covered in thousands of tiny scales, so small they can look like fine dust if they come off. Some colors come from pigments, like crayons. Others come from light bouncing off scales, making shiny iridescence. So cool. These colors aren't just pretty, they have jobs. Some help butterflies hide, camouflage. Others do the opposite, super bright colors. Reds, yellows, oranges. Warning colors saying stay away, maybe even poisonous. Some have big spots that look like eyes, like an owl, spooky. Colors also help butterflies talk. Males flash to attract females, and patterns help them recognize their own kind, every spot every stripe, every splash of color. Next time you see a butterfly, look closely and try to guess. Are they for hiding, for warning, or for showing off? So, where can we find our amazing butterfly friends? Butterflies live all over the world, in sunny meadows, quiet forests, busy parks, and even your own backyard. They need sunshine and lots of flowers to get their food. They're cold-blooded, so they love to bask in the sun for energy to fly. Different butterflies need different plants. Remember the host plant? The beautiful monarch only lays its eggs on milkweed. Adult butterflies drink the sweet liquid in flowers called nectar. They use a long, curly tongue called a proboscis, like a straw. 
Slurp, slurp, slurp. Sometimes they gather on wet mud. This is called puddling. They sip water and minerals like a butterfly sports drink. So look for sunny spots, lots of flowers, their special host plants, and maybe even a little mud puddle. Are you ready for a super fun activity? Let's go on a color hunt, just like a butterfly. This is a great game to play at a park, in a garden, or on your street. It helps us practice looking for all the beautiful colors in nature. We might even spot a real butterfly. First, you'll need a piece of paper. Then grab crayons or markers, or ask a grown-up to help print a simple color wheel. Okay, got your colors ready? Let's make a simple color wheel with six colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Draw six big pie slices and color each one. Now you have your official Blippi color hunt chart. Your mission is to go outside and find something in nature that matches each color. Can you find something red, like a berry, or a red flower? Find something orange, a fall leaf, or an orange petunia. What about yellow? A bright yellow dandelion or a sunflower. Green is easy. Green leaves on the trees and grass on the ground. Now blue, now purple. Keep your eyes open. You might find a pretty blue or purple flower, like a violet or a morning glory. For each color you find, put a check mark on your chart or have a grown-up take a picture. While you're on your color hunt, look for our butterfly friends. Do you see one landing on a flower? What color is the butterfly? Does it match the flower? This game makes you look at the world in a new, colorful way, like a butterfly sees it. What other colors can you find? Brown tree bark, a white cloud, a gray rock. Nature is full of beautiful colors. You are becoming a great nature explorer. Wow, we have learned so much about our amazing butterfly friends today. We learned about their incredible four-stage life cycle. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. We learned why their wings are so colorful and what they love to eat. Now let's talk about the most important thing, how we can be a good friend to butterflies and help them. Butterflies are beautiful but very delicate. The best way to watch butterflies is to be calm and quiet. If you run and shout, you might scare them away. Try sitting very still near a patch of flowers and just watch them. See how they flutter and fly and how they sip nectar. If you want a closer look, ask a grown-up to help. Never ever touch a butterfly's wings. The tiny scales can rub off and make it hard for them to fly. Be a super helper by making your yard friendly for them. Choose flowers native to where you live and plant blooms for different times of the year. Add a shallow dish with sand and water to create a puddling spot. Don't use bug sprays or pesticides. Those can harm butterflies and caterpillars. So remember, always be a butterfly buddy. Watch them gently and give them space. Butterflies are important pollinators. When they travel from flower to flower, they help plants make new seeds and grow. They're tiny helpers that make our world more colorful and full of life. Thank you for going on this amazing butterfly adventure with me today. Keep exploring, keep learning, and always be curious. Bye-bye.